<laughs> and Tara, you are right. We're at the hyena den, and luckily for us, the adult is out. Oh, our saddlebolt stalk is flying over. There it goes. The same one that we saw, possibly now heading towards some water. Um, if you are watching the dam cam, I wouldn't be surprised if this saddlebolt stalk heads towards the um, the Vuyatela Dam or the Gali Gauri Dam, Juma Dam, Vuyatela Dam. I don't know what the correct name is. It seems everybody calls it something else. Anyway, look at this little cub suckling at the moment. <laughs> they are they are quite cute when they're young. They're very cute when they're young. I'm very curious. I decided to pour myself a cup of coffee and enjoy the sighting. So if you are watching and you're at home and having a coffee break, this is a perfect time. Oh, he's sitting with hyena <laughs> in my thermos, my flask, as we like to call it. Looks like that female has got a very... F oh, there's a loud woodpecker just knocking. Um, you said that the um, hyena appears to be very fair coloured. Um, and it is quite a light coat underneath, but but um, yeah, some of the hyena, I think her back is most likely that more that golden brown with the black spots, but underneath they are quite light. <laughs> Beautiful sound coming from the bearded woodpecker, busy knocking, knocking away at a tree. It's actually been a lovely morning. Giraffe, an owl, saddlebolt stork, hyena. Now all we need is a leopard. I'd love to find a leopard before I leave this morning. We'll see, we'll see. It's still very overcast, very cool weather. It's also wonderful that these animals feel relaxed with us being at the den um, obviously we don't try get too close to them so we don't disturb them and it's it's interesting uh, often hyena they'll walk past vehicles but uh, but they to get close and follow hyena is very difficult they'll often just run off and run into the bush um, the den sites are the best places to get close to them and, and to view them. Paul, you're saying this is such a lovely image, it is. And I'm sure you can all hear that woodpecker knocking, the bearded woodpe woodpecker. So it's a per perfect scene, really. Mother hyena nursing its young, woodpecker knocking. <laughs> Joe, you say she's got her eyes on me, and does appear as if she's looking at us. Miss Sky, you asked if hyena only sleep at the den. No, definitely not. Miss Sky, hyena generally move around <coughs> a lot. And now this clan, we know there are other hyena in this clan. 
and um, they probably elsewhere most likely sleeping in a drainage line or in in an area that's well well covered and resting um, they don't necessarily just sleep at the at the den the the female will generally and and some of the other hyena return to the den at time at times uh, but um but i mean the den is mainly for the the female and obviously the the youngsters the cubs now it's it's interesting i think this is the first den i've seen that there is only one female and one cub um usually when i get to, when I, i've seen a den site and it's active it's been it's been a number of hyena and and a number of cubs so this is unusual for me you can see those little paws or feet of the hyena very clearly the pad at the bottom Campy now I need to think I think this cab is about um, three months old I would guess I don't know but I, I know a lot of the viewers have seen these cubs from a, a very young age very soon after they were born so if anybody else has a more accurate idea of how old they are please let me know or this this cub rather but I think it's about three months maybe just over I'm not sure just judging by the coloration two and a half to three months would be my guess but uh, let's find out let me f wait for somebody to let us know as I said I've had some wonderful hyena sightings um, at, at den sites the youngsters coming up and um, uh, they're very curious they'll come and sniff the vehicles and I've had hyena try to take our snack box off the back of the vehicle before we've had to chase them away guests all thought it was very funny very curious and inquisitive I must be honest, this is very relaxing. Also, the nice thing is while we sit here, I can listen out for any alarm calls. If that leopard is still in this area, I can possibly, possibly listen to or hear alarm calls, hopefully. Okay, we Siberia Zumi says um, two to three months for the age of this little cub is about right. So I am right there. And judging, judging by the, as I said, the coloration and the size, because the hyena cubs when they are born they're completely black. These little tiny, tiny little black cubs, and then as they get older, they start to develop the spots and that brown coloration. Now, I might sit here a few more minutes and just see if these hyena decide to move. But let's head across to Tara, who's got kudu prancing through the bush.